Now to our top story. We are hearing more tonight about a man pushed into the middle of oncoming traffic. Now, Stephen Cran was killed, and today we spoke with those who knew him. News Channel 9's John Nabo joins us now with more. John. Well, Kim and Calvin, the victim was homeless, and we met two men who knew him, and one of them had a friend who was there the night he was killed on Brainerd Road. We stopped at the community kitchen about lunchtime and showed Stephen Cran's picture to some of the men outside. Bobby Martin recognized him right away. See, I've seen him go to and from, you know, maybe down the street, down that way, maybe eating. Police say on Tuesday night of last week, Stephen Williams started a fight with Cran out in front of the Brainerd Walmart. Witnesses told police Williams wouldn't relent and push Cran into the center lane in front of an oncoming vehicle on Brainerd Road. Martin had a friend who was there that night. Porky, he went over there and he put his hand like on his shoulder and he said, little buddy, there's help on the way like that. You know, the car done hit him, I mean, it knocked him down, you know. And uh, he told him, said, help's on the way. And about that time, he just, well, I can't, he just died right there. We also met John Singleton, who knew the victim in passing and the suspect even better. He immediately recognized Williams when we showed him his mugshot. Yep, I know. Okay, I was just in jail in Silverdale with him. Williams has been in jail for domestic assault, trespassing, theft, and public intoxication. He was there just last month. And Singleton was blown away by the crime, saying it goes against Williams' demeanor. Just, I just can't imagine. I, I, I just can't imagine it. I mean, he's just... Man, I just can't believe it. But Singleton also knows what it's like to live the hard life. He's been homeless for four or five years. When you're out on a street like this, it's tough. And if you got a body, you, you hang with them and things break out. And you, when it's guys, you fight. Now, Stephen Williams' next stop is a court date next Tuesday. Tonight, he remains in jail charged with criminal homicide. His bond is $200,000. Kim? John, thank you very much.